The Paul H. Nitze School of Advanced International Studies say, is a division of Johns Hopkins University based in Washington, D.C., United States, with campuses in Bologna, Italy, and Nanjing, China. It is generally considered one of the top graduate schools for international relations in the world. The institution is devoted to the study of international affairs, economics, diplomacy, and policy research and education. Among the political scientists and economists based here are former World Bank chief economist Ann Kruger, and military historian and former counselor of the U.S. Department of State Elliot Cohen. Its students are selected from a large pool of applicants from all parts of the world. The Say Washington, D.C. campus is located on Massachusetts Avenue's Embassy Row, just off DuPont Circle and across from the Brookings Institution and the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, and next to the Center for Global Development and the Peterson Institute. The school has hosted world leaders on a regular basis for public debate in international affairs. History The Johns Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies was founded in 1943 by Paul H. Nitze and Christian Herter as a standalone graduate school and became part of the Johns Hopkins University in 1950. The school was established during World War II by a group of statesmen who sought new methods of preparing men and women to cope with the international responsibilities that would be thrust upon the United States in the post-war world. Nitze feared the diplomatic and economic expertise developed in World War II might get lost if the nation became isolationist. The founders assembled a faculty of scholars and professionals, often borrowed from other universities, to teach international relations, international economics, and foreign languages to a small group of students. The curriculum was designed to be both scholarly and practical. The natural choice for the location of the school was Washington, D.C., a city where international resources are abundant and where American foreign policy is shaped and set in motion. When the school opened in 1944, 15 students were enrolled. In 1955, the school created the Bologna Center in Italy, the first full time graduate school located in Europe under an American higher education system. By 1963 Johns Hopkins Say outgrew its first quarters on Florida Avenue and moved to one of its present buildings on Massachusetts Avenue. In 1986, the Hopkins Nanjing Center was created in Nanjing, China, completing the school's global presence. <laughs> <laughs> organization and academic programs Johns Hopkins Say is a global school with campuses in three continents. It has nearly 700 full-time students in Washington, D.C., 190 full-time students in Bologna, Italy, and about 160 full-time students in Nanjing, China. Of these, 60% come from the United States and 37% from more than 70 other countries. Around 50% are women and 22% are from U.S. minority groups. Say Europe is home to the Bologna Center and the only full-time international relations graduate program in Europe that operates under an American higher education system, and the Hopkins Nanjing Center, which teaches courses in both Chinese and English, is jointly administered by Johns Hopkins Say and Nanjing University. The school offers multidisciplinary instruction leading to the degrees of Master of Arts for early and mid-career professionals, as well as a Doctor of Philosophy program. Approximately 300 students graduate from the Washington, D.C., campus each year from the two-year Master of Arts program in International Relations and International Economics. Unlike most other international affairs graduate schools that offer professional master's degrees, Johns Hopkins Say requires its Master of Arts candidates to fulfill the International Ecopass a one-hour capstone oral examination synthesizing and integrating knowledge from the students' regional or functional concentration and international economics. The oral examination and international economics requirements of the Master of Arts curriculum have been the signature aspects of the school's education. Reputation A study conducted in 2005 examined graduate international relations programs throughout the United States, interviewing over a thousand professionals in the field, with the results subsequently published in the Foreign Policy magazine. 65% of respondents named Johns Hopkins University Say as the best terminal master's program in international relations. 
Say received the most votes, followed by Georgetown University Walsh, Harvard University Kennedy, Tufts University Fletcher, and Columbia University SIPA. The latest edition of the study was produced in 2014, with the master's program at Say ranking second globally after Georgetown Walsh. Since 1990, Say and the Fletcher School have been the only non-law schools in the United States to participate in the prestigious Philip C. Jessup International Law Moot Court Competition. Competing against full-time law students, Say generalists have performed very well. Say has twice placed second overall out of 12 schools and advanced to the final four in its region. In head-to-head -head competitions, Say has defeated elite law schools such as Georgetown University and the University of Virginia. Say students have also demonstrated their versatility by successfully competing in the Sustainable Innovation Summit Challenge hosted by the Thunderbird School of Global Management in Glendale, Arizona. Two different SAE teams won first place in both 2007 and 2008, besting teams of MBA students from some of the world's top business schools. A joint team from SAE and the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business received second place in the first Global Challenge. Competition, a first-of-its-kind competition that challenged teams of MBA and other graduate students to develop a public-private venture to support development and the tourism industry in Asia. The competition was organized in 2010 by the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business and the U.S. Agency for International Development USAID. Topic. Annual themes. From 2005 to 2012, Johns Hopkins Say dedicated a substantive theme for each academic year in order to encourage its students, faculty, academic programs, policy centers, and alumni to examine the role of the particular theme within international affairs. These specific themes provided opportunities for the school to review scholarship and exchange views through special lectures, conferences, and guest speakers. The school hosted public events during the following themes of energy 2005-06, China 2006-07, elections and foreign policy 2007-08, year of water 2008-09, religion 2009-10, demography 2010-11, and agriculture 2011-12 and enhanced its fundraising with high-profile public events such as the lecture delivered by then Vice President of BP, Nick Butler, during the year of energy in 2005. Topic Child Protection Project In June 2009 the Protection Project at SAE partnered with the Coons Family Institute of the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children ICMEC, creating the Child Protection Project, to draft a model law focusing on the issues of child protection, in particular, neglect, abuse, maltreatment, and exploitation. The primary objectives of the Child Protection Project are to research existing child protection laws in the 193 member states of the United Nations UN, convene a series of regional expert working group meetings to establish a common definition for child protection, create a database of national legislation and case law on child protection issues from around the world, and draft, publish, and globally disseminate model child protection legislation. The drafting process included six expert group meetings, held in Singapore. Egypt, Costa Rica, Spain, Turkey, and the U.S. The final version of the Child Protection Model Law was published in January 2013. It was presented to the members of the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child during its 62nd session in Geneva, Switzerland, in January 2013. It was also presented before the 129th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union in Geneva in October 2013. Accompanying the Child Protection Model Law, ICMEC and the Protection Project published a companion 100 Best Practices in Child Protection guide in 2013. Topic: Research Centers. Topic: Publications. In addition to the different books and periodicals edited by SAE programs or research centers, several school-wide publications are to be mentioned. 38 North, a blog maintained by the U.S. Korea Institute about North Korean affairs. SAE Review, a journal on leading contemporary issues of world affairs, founded in 1956. 
Say Observer, a student written, student run newspaper founded in 2002, the official student newspaper of the Global Say community. Say Reports, a newsletter that highlights new faculty, research institutes, academic programs, student and alumni accomplishments, and events at the school, published bi monthly from September through May. Say Europe Journal of Global Affairs, formerly the Bologna Center Journal of International Affairs, a student-run journal on scholarly contributions to international relations, published online and annually as a print version. Centerpiece, the alumni newsletter of the Nanjing Center. Working Paper Series, a series of papers managed by the PhD students. Topic: Notable alumni. Johns Hopkins Say has nearly 17,000 alumni working around the world in approximately 140 countries. Over 130 Say graduates have become ambassadors for various countries. Mahamat Ali Adoam, former Foreign Affairs Minister, Chad's Ambassador to the United Nations Madeleine Albright, former U.S. Secretary of State attended Say, but did not earn degree Peter F. Algeyer, Deputy U.S. Trade Representative 2001 and former Acting U.S. Trade Representative Mark Anderson, Washington, D.C.-based activist and author. Co-founded punk activist group Positive Force and senior citizen support and advocacy organization We Are Family. Crescencio S. Arcos, U.S. Ambassador to Honduras 1989-93, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for International Narcotics and Law Enforcement 1993-95, and Assistant Secretary of Homeland Security for International Affairs 2003-06, Nancy Birdsall, founding president of the Center for Global Development in Washington, D.C. Robert O. Blake, Jr., U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia, 2013 present, former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asian Affairs, 2009-13, former U.S. Ambassador to Sri Lanka and the Maldives, 2006-09. Wolf Blitzer, CNN journalist and television news anchor. Adam Bowleton, Sky News political editor. Jeremy Bowen, BBC journalist and presenter Gailey the B. Brown, former U.S. Ambassador to Benin and current Ambassador Designee to Burkina Faso R. Nicholas Burns, former U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, former U.S. Ambassador to NATO and Greece James Casson, former U.S. Ambassador to Paraguay Herman J. Cohen, U.S. Diplomat, former Ambassador to various countries in Africa Kui Tiankai, People's Republic of China's Ambassador to the United States of America, former Vice Foreign Minister Jean Maurice de House, former Belgian Minister President of the Wallonia Region, former Mayor of Liege Anne E. Durs, U.S. Ambassador to Lithuania, say 81 John Casper Dreyer, former U.S. Ambassador to the Organization of American States Herman Eiltz, former U.S. Ambassador to Saudi Arabia and Egypt, worked with Egyptian President Anwar el-Sadat throughout the Camp David Accords Jessica Einhorn, former Dean of Say, member of the Board of Directors of Time Warner, former Director of the Council on Foreign Relations, and a former Managing Director of the World Bank Robert Stephen Ford, former U.S. Ambassador to Algeria and Syria Jeffrey Garten, former U.S. Under Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, and former Dean of the Yale School of Management. Timothy F. Geithner, former U.S. Secretary of the Treasury and President and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. April Glaspie, American diplomat, first woman to be appointed U.S. Ambassador to an Arab country, best known as the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq in the run-up to the 1991 Gulf War. Gabriel Garamondragon, U.S. Ambassador to Chile 1994-98 Ger H. Hard, former Prime Minister of Iceland 2006-2009 John J. Hammer, President and CEO of the Center for Strategic and International Studies CSIS, former U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense John E. Herbst, former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine and Uzbekistan, current Coordinator for Reconstruction and Stabilization as a career member of the Senior Foreign Service John J. Hicks, Intelligence Officer, Second Director of National Photographic Interpretation Center James Howard Holmes, former U.S. Ambassador to Latvia 
Hans Hugervorst, Netherlands former Minister of Public Health, former Minister of Finance Tracy Ann Jacobson, former U.S. Ambassador to Turkmenistan and Tajikistan Angela Kane, UN Undersecretary General for Management Malcolm H. Kerr, American University of Beirut President and Academic, assassinated Shahal M. Khan, owner of the Plaza Hotel Bert Coenders, Dutch Minister of Foreign Affairs, former Special Representative of the UN for Mali and Côte d'Ivoire Anthony Kuhn, NPR correspondent in Beijing, China, Hopkins Nanjing Center Certificate 92. Lauswijs van der Laan, former Leader of Democrats 66 in the House of Representatives of the Netherlands Frank Lavin, U.S. Under Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, former U.S. Ambassador to Singapore Jim Leach, Chairman of National Endowment for the Humanities, former U.S. Representative from Iowa, former Chair of U.S. House of Representatives Committee on Financial Services, former Faculty and Trustee at Princeton University Lee Tae Sik, former Republic of Korea's Ambassador to the United States Samuel W. Lewis, former U.S. Ambassador to Israel and U.S. Ambassador at the Camp David Accord Talks in 1978 Dennis P. Lockhart, President and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta Gabriel Silva Lujan, Colombia's twice Ambassador to the United States, and Minister of Defense Peter McGowan, former owner of the San Francisco Giants and former CEO of Safeway attended SAE, but did not earn degree Sir David Manning, British Ambassador to Israel 1995 Foreign Policy Advisor to former British Prime Minister Tony Blair 2001 British Ambassador to the United States 2003 John E. McLaughlin, former Deputy Director of Central Intelligence Christopher Meyer, British Ambassador to the United States during the Second Gulf War Anna Bellin Montes, spy for Cuba working at the Defense Intelligence Agency and arrested in 2001. Loretta Napoleone, best selling author of Terror Incorporated and Insurgent Iraq. She is an expert on financing of terrorism and advises several governments on counter terrorism. Pat O'Brien, television personality. John E. Osborne, former commissioner, U.S. Advisory Commission on Public Diplomacy, Affiliate Faculty in Law and International Studies, University of Washington, Senior Executive with Life Sciences Companies Cephalon and Onyx Pharmaceuticals Suyoi Osman, Bruneian Health Minister Claudio Pacifico, Italian diplomat, Italian ambassador to Egypt Ronald D. Palmer, former U.S. Ambassador to Malaysia Gerhard Fanzelter, Secretary General of the CEI, former Permanent Representative of Austria to the UN, Ambassador of Austria to Syria, Senegal, Gambia, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Mali and Mauritania Nicholas Platt, former U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan, Philippines, and Zambia, former President of the Asia Society Danielle Pletka, Senior Vice President of the American Enterprise Institute for Foreign and Defense Studies and former member of Senate Foreign Relations Committee Slater Ria, Singer and TV Personality in China, Hopkins Nanjing Center Mays 17. Charles P. Rise, U.S. Minister for Economic Affairs and Coordinator for Economic Transition in Iraq 2007-08, U.S. Ambassador to Greece 2004-07 Marcy Berman Rise, former U.S. Ambassador to Albania, former U.S. Ambassador to Bulgaria. Jauhar Salim, Pakistani diplomat. Arturo Sarakan, Mexico's Ambassador to the United States. David Shear, U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam, 2011 present. Kevin Seif, Africa Bureau Chief at the Washington Post, former Afghanistan Bureau Chief, 2012 to 14. Bundar bin Sultan, Saudi Arabia's former ambassador to the United States Levi Tilleman, advisor to the Department of Energy, author Tomika Tilleman, senior advisor to the U.S. Secretary of State for Civil Society and Emerging Democracies MA, PhD. Michael G. Vickers, Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Department of Defense Jacob Walls, U.S. Ambassador to Tunisia 2012 to 2015, US Consul General in Jerusalem 2005 to 2009. Wang Guangya, People's Republic of China's ambassador and permanent representative to the United Nations. 
Juliana Glover Weiss, political consultant and lobbyist Clifton R. Wharton, Jr. Former U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Jody Williams, Nobel Peace Prize recipient for her leadership of the international campaign to ban landmines Lois Woke, member of the California State Senate Sally Shelton Colby, U.S. Ambassador to Barbados, Granada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Topic past and present faculty Fouad A. Jami, Professor of Middle Eastern Studies Lucius D. Battle, former U.S. Ambassador to Egypt, Assistant Secretary of State for the Near East and Africa, and President, Middle East Institute, founded SAI Foreign Policy Institute Peter Bergen, CNN terrorism analyst and author of Holy War, Inc. Zbigniew Brzezinski, former National Security Advisor to President Jimmy Carter Edward B. Burling, partner of the law firm Covington & Burling David P. Collio, former director of European Studies Programme, author of Rethinking Europe's Future Eric Jones, professor of European Studies and International Political Economy and director of the European and Eurasian Studies EES Programme Rajiv Chandrasekharan, associate editor, The Washington Post, former SAE journalist in residence for the International Reporting Project, author of Imperial Life in the Emerald City, Inside Iraq's Green Zone Elliot A. Cohen, professor of Strategic Studies and director of the Strategic Studies Programme, Program, former counselor of the U.S. Department of State, author of Military Misfortunes, The Anatomy of Failure in War and Supreme Command, Soldiers, Statesmen, and Leadership in Wartime W. Max Corden, trade economist, developed Dutch disease model Francis Deng, former representative of the UN Secretary General on Internally Displaced Persons Luis Ernesto Derbez, Mexican Minister of Finance and Foreign Affairs David Dodge, former Governor of the Bank of Canada Eric S. Edelman, former U.S. Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, former U.S. Ambassador to Finland and Turkey, visiting scholar at the Philip Merrill Center for Strategic Studies and Distinguished Fellow at the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments Jessica Einhorn, former Dean of SAE, member of the Board of Directors of Time Warner, former Director of the Council on Foreign Relations, and a former Managing Director of the World Bank Francis Fukuyama, former Director of the SAE International Development Program, and author of The End of History and the Last Man Grace Goodell, Professor of International Development Jakub J. Grigiel, George H. W. Bush Assistant Professor of International Relations Christian Herter, former U.S. Secretary of State and Governor of Massachusetts Joseph Joff, German journalist Majid Kadori, Professor of Islamic Law and Middle East Specialist Kenneth H. Keller, former Director of the Say Bologna Center, former President of the University of Minnesota System Praveen Krishna, Chung Ju Young Professor of International Economics and Business Cornelius C. Neal Kubler, former American co-director of the Hopkins Nanjing Center. Ann O. Kruger, Professor of International Economics, former First Deputy Managing Director of the IMF and World Bank Chief Economist, former President, American Economic Association David M. Lampton, George and Sadie Hyman Professor of China Studies, Director of the China Studies Program, and former Dean of Faculty Paul Linnebarger, former Professor of Asian Studies, best known as a science fiction author under the pseudonym Cordwainer Smith Marissa Lino, former Director of the Se Bologna Center, former U.S. Ambassador to Albania, and former Assistant Secretary for International Affairs at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Michael Mandelbaum, Professor of American Foreign Policy John E. McLaughlin, former Deputy Director of the Central Intelligence Agency, Senior Fellow at the Brookings Institution Robert H. Mandel, Nobel Prize in Economics Laureate, 1999 Kendall Myers, former U.S. Foreign Service Officer and SAE part-time faculty member who was arrested in 2009 on charges of 30 years of espionage on behalf of Cuba Azar Nafisi, Iranian-American academic and author of Reading Lolita in Tehran and Things I've Been Silent About Paul H. Nitze, drafter of NSC 68 Creating the U.S. Cold War Strategy of Containment Don Oberdorfer, journalist, Korea expert Robert E. Osgood, 3rd Dean of SAE, former Director of the American Foreign Policy Program and Co-Director of the Security Studies Program, and former member of the U.S. Secretary of State's Policy Planning Council from 1983 to 1985. Henry Paulson, former U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, Distinguished Visiting Fellow at the Bernard Schwartz Forum on Constructive Capitalism Reardon wrote, Professor of Latin American Studies, 
Stephen M. Schwabel, former Edward B. Burling Professor of International Law and Organization at SEI and former judge and president of the International Court of Justice, currently leading international arbitrator and counsel in Washington, D.C. Andras Simonyi, former Ambassador of Hungary to the United States Robert Skidelsky, economist, biographer of John Maynard Keynes R. Jeffrey Smith, former journalist in residence, Pulitzer Prize winner Stephen Sabo, former professor of European Studies, current head of the Transatlantic Academy at the German Marshall Fund Shuren R. Tahir Kelly, former research professor, former special assistant to the President and National Security Council Senior Director for Democracy, Human Rights and International Operations Nate Thayer visiting scholar, investigative journalist who interviewed Pol Pot and Kong Kekiew Dale C. Thompson, Director of the Centre of Canadian Studies, Author, Secretary, Advisor to Canadian Prime Minister, Louis St. Laurent Robert W. Tucker, former Professor of American Foreign Policy, and co-author of The Imperial Temptation, The New World Order and America's Purpose David Unger, journalist, member of the New York Times editorial board, author of The Emergency State, America's Pursuit of Absolute Security at All Costs Ruth Wedgwood, Edward B. Burling Professor of International Law and Diplomacy, and Director of the Program in International Law and Organizations, U.S. Member of the United Nations Human Rights Committee Paul Wolfowitz, former President of the World Bank, former U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense, former Dean of SEI I. William Zartman, former Professor and Director of the SEI Conflict Management Program Alejandro Toledo, visiting scholar, former president of Peru. Topic. See also. Professorial lecturer, a specialized title used for an academic expert at the school. Say Bologna Center. Hopkins Nanjing Center. <laughs>